Jalen Hurts has received countless questions about his chest and shoulder all week ahead of Super Bowl 57, answering them thoughtfully and honestly. Yes, Hess feeling better. But no, Hess not 100%. The Eagles star will battle through it. After speaking with the Eagles medical staff led by head athletic trainer Tom Hunkel and Dr. Arshtanota on Monday at Super Bowl 57 opening night, they shed some light on why Hertz is still feeling the injury and why there simply hasn't been enough time to shed the discomfort. Him getting there. I've made it clear this whole time it's something I'm dealing with. So what is it? There is a ligament that connects the clavicle to the sternum, and that joint is what Hertz injured. It's called the sternoclavicular joint, and it connects the two bones at the base of one's Adam's apple. When Bears edge rusher Travis Gibson fell on him on a frozen field in Chicago on December 18, Hertz's shoulder hit the turf and his chest compressed like an accordion. That forced the ligaments to strain and caused the SC joint sprain. Hertz somehow finished the game. The prescription was rest and rehab to not only build up the functionality but allow the discomfort to subside. Hertz missed week 16, right shoulder, and began throwing again late in the week ahead of Philadelphia's week 17 game. Hertz pushed to be available, but knowing the showdown that loomed against the Giants in week 18 and that he would still be somewhat limited, the team decided to hold him back. In Week 18, he returned for a gritty win over the Giants to clinch the top seed in a bye. Despite that bye, Hertz still hasn't had the full time required to allow his injury to completely heal. And in the NFC Championship game against the 49ers, he felt every throw. Hertz will play today against the Chiefs and that's no issue, he was not listed on the Eagles injury report. There are no breaks and no surgery is coming but only the rest of the offseason will allow him back to full health.